The Philadelphia Eagles needed a get right game in the worst way. And Drew Locke was right there. And then Drew Locke took it. In fact, it was a touchdown pass to Jackson Smith and the Jigba with under a minute left. And the Eagles, well, more like more like lose Eagles lose is what happened on Monday. Sorry, Gino Camilleri from Locked On Eagles, who joins me now. And, and Gino, this team, the last, what, month, has just not looked like the team that we saw in the first half of the season or we saw in most of last season. What is what is most ailing them right now? It has to be this offense that was such a powerhouse last year to where they were so good in so many games and close games, especially because in end of game scenarios, like you saw tonight, when the Eagles had the ball with four and a half minutes left, you're saying they're going to run this thing down. The game's over. They're going to win this football game. That was 2022, 2023. That benefit of the doubt that we gave them that is gone. That is out the window. You can no longer give them the benefit of the doubt because how can you trust this offense in three of the most important games contextually for this football team in the regime of Nick Sirianni? Mm. They've put up under your offensive minded head coach 14.3 points per game on offense against San Francisco, against Dallas, against Seattle. Three teams that are well, two of our potentially in the playoffs in the one and two seed now. And the other one might be in the playoffs because you allowed them to get there. And you're saying, what is the ceiling for this Philadelphia Eagles team? Maybe a win over a <laughs> NFC South team that is 500 at this point. And there's no way to get better without holding yourself accountable. And Nick Sirianni, he'll make a change on the defense and Matt Patricia steps up in a big way and holds this team to 13 points until the last drive, but his offense that isn't putting up points, where's the accountability there? And it really comes down to this group knowing what's at stake because you clinched a playoff berth yesterday. Like you're not going to be sitting at home come that first week of wildcard weekend. You have to go play a game. So are you going to sit here and sulk for the next three weeks? Or are you going to figure out a way to get your offense on track. And we've been saying the same thing on this exact show, on our show at Locked On Eagles, yeah. for now three months. When is it going to turn around? I don't know. At least the defense tried something different, and it worked to a degree. But the offense, it's square peg, round hole territory. Once again, an Eagles team that is coming off of a Super Bowl caliber season is having a letdown of a year in – what shouldn't be a letdown because you were 10 and one and then you let everything in front of you slip by the wayside. They always say control the controllables. The Eagles did the absolute worst job the last three weeks in doing exactly that. Yeah. What, what year is Donovan McNabb on the team again? What, what exactly is happening here? I mean, give me Jeff Garcia. We'll see if magic can happen there. (laughs) So this team they, they personnel wise, they look so similar to the one that we saw just chew everybody up mm-hmm. and spit them out last season. Now we see Shane Steichen in Indianapolis, what he's been able to do there. It seems like maybe we underestimated what kind of key cog he was in this offense, which raises questions right about Nick Sirianni. How much can he with a little bit of brain drain add into this offensive room? He's an offensive coach. Remember how much, where are the bona fides there? What is your confidence level in Nick Sirianni to find the answers? Like I said, Pete, that benefit of the doubt is gone. He has mm. to prove me wrong, and I'll say a 50%. It's a coin flip at this point because, like you said, is it the chicken or the egg? Are we in the Doug Peterson, Frank Reich situation that we were in all those years ago? where it was Doug, who we knew was the offensive-minded guy. Frank Reich would go on to be fired twice. But Nick Sirianni, with the same personnel on offense, is having a harder time and only has two more wins than Shane Steichen with Gardner Minshew and that Indianapolis Colts team. Stay up to date all year on the Philadelphia Eagles by subscribing to Locked On Sports today and Locked On Eagles on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube.